Here we go. Hey, everybody. It's your boy, Eduardo Jackson, CEO, founder, creator of the Cinema Draft Game and CD3D. Let's get some invites to the people. Let's invite members. Let's invite all of y'all who've recently been seen up in this piece. There we go. Including some of the doubters and the confused and the haters. All are welcome. I've got answers for all your questions. And actually, where's the where's the great big invite? Hold on. Let's do invite members. How about we just invite the group? These people didn't invite the group. I can't, I don't know where that went. All right. Anyways, we're out here. We're working on this. All right. So, welcome to AMA Wednesday. A few updates. It is a holiday week. So, there, although there has been progress, progress has been a little bit slow. People are taking time off spending with their families. It's to be expected. Let's see. Setting. Here we go. Share invite link. That's what I was looking for. Let's send it out here and here. I'll just send it out here. There we go. Send. All right. So first things first, everyone's obsessed with the price. Well, I'm not sure if you've all noticed, but in larger crypto news, the market is down, down, down. I had a really bad day. Look at this. It was a pretty, pretty bad day yesterday. So that's like the price of everything. Binance coin down as well. Me personally, I've been looking at Litecoin. I like to change a lot of stuff in and out of Litecoin. It's been struggling over the last 24 hours. And so since a lot of our price is based off BNB, it's affected the token price. So our current token price is around four and a half cents, which all things considered, it's not too bad. Um, people are people have been trying to dump the token. There's been some heavy dumping action over on TokPi. So for those of you who are out there looking to scoop up really cheap tokens, and, and you know who you are, <coughs> Aisha, <laughs> you might want to head over to TokPi because you can clean up. I actually went over there and bought like I think twelve thousand for I don't know for like maybe seventy four bucks something like that. I mean it's just I don't know what people are thinking trying to dump this thing for like. 0 0.06 cents or something. I don't know what they're thinking, but I mean, you know, the market will correct itself. The market most certainly will correct itself. So right now, so if you want super cheap tokens, go over to TokPi, T-O-K-P-I-E dot I-O. Um, but yeah, and there's just being some dumping to be expected. Pink sales, matter of fact, the last pink sale vesting, I think was a couple of days ago. Hold on one second. Things might be a little extra. There we go. All right. Yeah, the pink uh, pink sales our, our pink sale vesting was last. All right. So it was about three days ago. So that might explain why there's been so much dumping. I think I think I saw in one of the order books that uh, someone had like. Like um like 1.7 million tokens up there. Oh no no okay I'm sorry. Someone's trying to buy 1.7 million tokens for like I don't know uh, like uh, a tenth of a penny or something each. And I'm like all right good luck with that. <laughs> so people are trying to get some really dumb deals and people are are really trying to dump some tokens. It's it's wild out there. So if you want some cheap tokens, go to Toke Sale. Uh, sorry Toke Sale Toke Pie because it is going down for cheap. Um, so, and so, yeah, so there's something dumb to be expected. Additionally, we also have the latest, uh, the last installment of the bounty payments coming up for the, for the, uh, the signature bounty campaign, no, the, the bounty campaign overall signatures and translations. So expect some dumping there. 90,000 tokens are going out. Oh, to only 78 addresses. So of course, ideally they would stake their tokens and, and earn more for it, but 
if they have no faith and have no patience, they will be dumping. So, you know, we can expect this price eh, maybe to waver a little bit. I would be surprised if it touched just above four cents. More cheap tokens for the rest of us. And speaking of staking, let's take a look in on our test staking account, Melrob. Melrob, who once upon a time started off with 208 tokens, staked them for 30 days in the initial staking pool at an average of 1,000% APR, ended up with 3,135 tokens. We took 3,000 of those tokens over to the new staking pile where she's where we're paying out 10,000 a day. And at a 1,400% APR, she's turned her 3,000 tokens into, she's almost earned them back in a space of a little less than two weeks. Hi, Mel Rob. Look at all these lovely tokens you have. <laughs> yeah, so she's, so she's almost, she's almost doubled her tokens in about two weeks time. Wow, that's, that's pretty exciting. So good job for Mel Rob. Right now, 1,427% APR. Take advantage of that if you're in this for the long haul. And hopefully you are because this is a long-term hold token. Um, what else is going on? Um, we continue to develop a pace. I expect to have exciting announcement for you all soon about draft stream. Soon TM. I uh, can't be more specific than that. But as soon as I know something that I can share with you, you will know something. So hang in there. We're working very hard on it. We're also about halfway done with the Decentralized Exchange Launchpad. We've got the deck stuff down, and now we're turning our sights to the Launchpad portion. So, oh, and also self-staking. So basically all this, all this Dodo stuff that we're doing here, we're going to be doing it on our own proprietary uh, site on our CD3D decks. So enjoy this while it lasts. This actually should go through the 28th of January. So we still got another four weeks of staking action, another four, another 30 something days almost of, of staking action. Enjoy those sick reward. What is 1400? Let's see, 1427 divided by 45. That's like 31% a day. So enjoy this 31% a day action right now while you can. And actually, see, let's see how much is actually being staked right now. So, so over, so a quarter of a million CD3D is being staked right now in the staking pool on Dodo. And right now, her share is up to eighty-one ninety-eight at the current undervalued price. And remember, when DraftStream comes out, we'll have some test. We'll have a testing period. But then, the way to make real money with the game and with your token is to play for more tokens. We will be having guaranteed prize pools. I can't. I'm actually one of the things I'm going to work on probably over the holiday weekend is a bit of a schedule, map out a little bit of what I want to see as far as prize pools and stuff. And it's it's going to be exciting, you know. I, I think I, I want to. I want to. I'm going to try to guarantee at least 2 million tokens worth of prizes in the first year. That's kind of my goal. So, I mean, you know, if we're doing this week to week, there's going to be a lot of tokens up for grabs and we're going to see the token price rise because the only way you can win real money in the guaranteed prize pools is if you own CD3D token to, tokens to play. So gobble these up while they're cheap because... We're not staying in four cents city for long. All right, what else do we have? Yes, our holiday meme contest. Hashtag CD3 meme holiday has ended. And thank you all for your wonderful contributions. Give yourselves a round of uh, applause. We actually, we actually had, a, we actually had, I believe, a hundred and one entries. Some people entered more than once. Now, mind you, the rules are you can only enter uh, more than once. If you entered more than once, I think um, only one or your top or your your most interesting meme was chosen. If you if you if you entered more than once uh, to be eligible, and so we came with our top five. Now, mind you, all each winner receives five hundred CD three D in prizes, and I will go from. Fifth through first in announcing these prizes. 
First winner, fifth place, is Moba Mo Moba Zane with the a video. All right, look, 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 here's the video. Investor whispers to Santa. Indeed. Indeed. All the other coins look on jealously. But is CD3D. There you go. All right. So let us tweet this out. Our fifth place winner. Hashtag CD3 meme holiday. Congrats. All right. Oh, undo that. Let's see. There we go. Let's tweet that out. All right. So, in a tie for fourth is Abhi Roy. All right. Good job, Abhi. It's a, it's a play on Thanos. Taste this. CD3D. And then turns into the Shack face. Don't try your luck. Buy your luck with CD3D. My sentiments exactly. Congrats. Tied for fourth. Place winner. Tie. Congrats to Abby Roy. Let's tweet that out. And they were tied with. Madeline Diaz. Congratulations, Madeline. What do you want for what do you want for Xmas? A girlfriend? How about something? Oh, uh, what do you, what do you want for Xmas? A girlfriend. How about something realistic? I want to be rich. This one, okay? Okay, I don't quite get it, but the rest of our staff really liked it. So congratulations, Madeline. Give you a like and a quote tweet tied for fourth. CD3 meme holiday. Now, mind you, the rules were it had to be holiday themed. Now, a lot of you guys sent in some, some really interesting and fun uh, memes, but they were not holiday themed. Holiday themed means something with either reindeer or snow or Santa, or we would even take in other fates, menorahs or Kwanzaa or something. Y'all, But you guys steered away from the holiday meme. Got to have the holiday meme. There's a lot of Elon stuff out there, too. I wasn't necessarily feeling that, but, you know. We'll keep it moving. So that was tied for fourth, I guess. So now second goes to, or I guess it'll be tied for third, tied for fourth, yeah, tied for fourth, tied for third, same thing. All right. Ah, uh, this one I thought should have been first. This is my personal favorite. It's CD3D Bay, <laughs> not Salt Bay, CD3D Bay. In Santa or Santa Bay, CD3D Bay, Santa CD3D Bay. Sprinkling a little CD 3D on your holidays with little snowflakes. I thought this was amazingly original, very clever. I loved it. It was my personal fave. You saw it. we already tweeted it out. Uh, we will now quote tweet this as officially second. Congratulations to Canal Serbesti. Hope I said that right. Second place winner. Congrats. And yeah, that's uh, lovely. That was very, I, I enjoyed that quite a lot. I think I already right click saved it. So good stuff. Congratulations, Canal. And then our grand, or our, well, grandpa, our number one top winner for the CD3 meme holiday contest is. Susa, all right, Susa, and it is a play on Bad Santa. If I give a thousand dollars, what will you buy? Of course, I buy a lot of pizza, new clothes, and others. Why don't you? Why don't you think about buying a CD three D token? You don't need a, a token. You don't need to token because I already bought five thousand CD three D tokens. This guy's a fucking legend. All right, Bad Santa, Bad CD three D Santa. 
Congratulations, top spot. Each winner wins 500 CD3D to be paid out after this broadcast. Congratulations, everyone, to our first place winner. Susa. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. I appreciate the efforts. We'll be coming back your way with another meme contest in a little bit. We'll let you all know. But that was fun. I really enjoyed it. Actually, you see all these, I saw all these other notifications go through all these other great memes you guys had. See, there's another one. The meme didn't, wasn't quite Christmas themed, Elon themed, you know, but I, I really enjoyed the participation, the interaction. Good job, y'all. And that is pretty much it for announcements. I will open up the floor to questions. Any questions you all have? <laughs> yes. Hey, Aisha, how are you? Hey, Eduardo, I am well. How are you doing? All right. Yeah. So, so what's on your mind this week? Well, I have a question about staking. Yes. Um, I remember in the, well, two AMAs ago, Okay. we talked about the 10% fee being gone on staking in the new uh, Dodo Swap staking pool. Yes, I believe I disabled it, yes. Is it still disabled for claiming? Like, so I haven't staked my, the, the this last round of vested tokens that was uh, distributed. So I'm thinking, well, before I do that, I'll go ahead and claim uh, my staking reward, and then I'll just restake all of it together. However, okay. I'm looking at the amount, and I'm like, I'm not really trying to give up 10% of this right here. Right. Let's make sure that, you know, let's just do a little checking. So is it, like, is it disabled? Like, we can claim and restake and stake and stake and stake again with no 10% well, uh, fee? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to take my, my other kind of test wallet. All right. So, all right. So now you see, so this is, this is a different wallet I have that I've got staking for a friend. They right now have 25 claimable rewards. So let's claim and see what happens. And they're not going to really miss it. <laughs> they don't even know, they, they don't even know they're staking. They're, they're, they're one of those uh, family friends like, yeah, you do everything. You do everything. <laughs> Please confirm mm -hmm. it. Wallet, where is my confirmation? Then? Are you gonna show me my? Okay, there we go. Confirm. Why is gas so high? Is gas? High? Oh no, this actually this actually this actually might be normal. I was trying to do something earlier, and gas was super high. I was like, what is going on? Oh yeah, when they tell you it's not point zero zero two something that you should double it and all that business. Yeah, something, I don't know, maybe my settings are off. All right, so claimed and 20. All right, so we had available originally 25 in my wallet, 25.7. And then the 25.4 were available to be claimed. And so now I have 48.7. So it looks like there there was some sort of, looks like some were, it looks like 10% were lost, yes. 10% did go to the contract automatically from being claimed. Okay. So, so maybe you just want to leave it in there till the end and then you know, do your 10%. I know that's a different kind of joy. So I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cause, cause I, I, know what you, I think I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about claiming then restaking, right? Yes. Claiming, restaking and increasing my percentage of the staking pool. Yeah. No, well, you know what? I mean, that, that, that is a bright idea, but we have now learned that anytime you claim, because claiming goes directly into your wallet, um, do not pass go. And it looks like uh, when it does that, it does take the 10% out on the transaction fee to the protocol as, as per the contract. So yeah, you just want to, I want to, want to be aware of that, but otherwise, yeah, it's uh that's, it's pretty cool. We found out that way. And so now, you know, like, well, I hope, do I, I hope I have enough um, B and B to restake them. I don't think I do. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, oh, that's my we'll, other we'll, we'll issue. I'm later. just like, I've been too lazy. Well, I shouldn't say lazy, but I've been disinclined 
to shuffle B and B around or get more B and B to pay for gas. So I'm like, okay, Aisha, you gotta just go ahead and do it. You got you need gas money if you're going anywhere. So go ahead and do it. So that's on my list. Yeah, B and B's kind of cheap right now. I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I can't predict if that there'll be like a rebound today. I'm hoping by like maybe tomorrow. You know, the whole Santa Claus rally we're supposed to have lasted literally like one day and like a cheap skate. I was trying to time it and I timed it wrong, and so now I have to wait. <laughs> but uh, if you're looking to get cheap, well, like I mentioned earlier, one you know, uh, there's definitely cheap. CD3D on Toke Pie. I mean, it's 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 a crime how cheap it is over there. And then two, B and B is relatively cheap. Also, I think is as high as uh, is like in the in the six hundreds last week. So my good, now might be a good time to stock up while it is you know nice and yeah, still under five forty. But um, oh, went but, back I mean, down. I, Everything went yeah. back down uh, over. Uh, yeah, yes, it was day, bad. So, yeah, yes, it, it was. was. Bad. Yeah, I mean, it started started midday. Uh, actually, started midday um, Sunday, maybe. I'm losing track of my days. Today is today is went, just started Wednesday. It right? started so, on Monday because I it remember started on Monday, thinking. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I remember thinking. It's um. I said, wait a minute. Stuff usually goes down towards the end of the week and then starts to go back up when the sun comes up on Monday. What's going on? I was like, oh, sugar, stuff is going down on a Monday. I don't even know what to think. It's the apocalypse. Yeah, but, um, no. Well, I will tell you this, though. I mean, every, I mean, every four years, almost like clockwork, you can um, you can almost count on, like, uh, uh, the, the – the, the golden bull ratio thing is is real. The whole, I mean, people have now, now we have a few cycles under our belt. There's this whole concept out there about called the golden bull ratio cycle of, of um, bull markets and Bitcoin, right? And basically they found that because it's all dedicated, it's all due to the halving, right? So you can kind of chart the bull, the bull cycles are about maybe two, two and a half times as long as the bear cycles. The bear cycles tend to happen every four years. So you'll see this one around 2013 and you, and, and look at the timing too. It usually happens like, you know, last quarter or, or, or of, of 20, of the four years ago or the first part of the next year. So, so this is the last, this is one of them. And then we had that nice little bull cycle until we went into end of the set. You know what? Actually, we are right on track now. I think about it because look at the bear cycle starting, and then and it it, it snuck up on us, on us last time because I think we had a small pop in January of 2018, maybe like kind of you know tricked us, and then it went back, then went down. It went down to sideways for a while, and then it started you know going back up. It's all based off the halving, and so now we've kind of we're almost out of bars. See this one? So. 371, 364, 532, 525, 518. I mean, we're running out of like days for this. Oh, actually, no, that's this is old. Hold on, let me click this. Oh yeah, we're out of days. <laughs> we're, I think we might be we might be in the bear market already. Because look at this now. I mean, it's starting to go down. And so, but this this bear market, I think, will be different as far as like it won't go as far down. I think we'll probably just trade sideways. We'll trade within like a range. I don't know if, I don't know if you've noticed, but like in the last. Mm, at least with, let's say Bitcoin, right? In the last maybe two, three weeks, let's, let's go with like the monthly chart, right? It's been within a range of, what was it? So 58,000 was the high, 48,000 is the low. So like, over like the last, I would say, week, it's been within 52 and 48. It's been within about $4,000 over the last seven days. And if you go for the last maybe few weeks, I mean, what's this? So 52, 48. Yeah, see, the last few weeks, it's been in within this range about maybe four to $6,000. So I think we're going to see some sideways trading maybe. Um, I mean, it's not going to be very exciting for a while. I mean, I hope we do get a pop. I mean, I think we should, you would think we get a pop in the new year or something, or it might be some news of some sort. But I think that it's just going to be either sideways trading for a while or very, very slow incremental gains. I'm I'm a little concerned on that point. But the great part about something like C3D is that all the stuff that has utility is going to rise to the top. And we're going to see these shit coins just falling off the table. Because I mean, we saw it last time too. Someone posted a, a chart of, I think it was the top, the, the top 10 coins like during 2013 or whatever. And like something like seven out of 10 of them aren't even around anymore. So... I mean, any, anything that has actual value, actual utility, products in the pipeline are actually working, are going to rise to the top. So, I mean, 
I don't know, I don't know about you, Shiba Inu. Y'all better find some utility quick. I mean, Doge is a joke. It'll be around forever. It's been around forever. But like, you know, like the ones that are up up top, the ones that have some sort of value, they'll be around. They they'll they'll probably be around. I don't know about you, XRP, but you you be hanging around for some reason. You and your army. But something like uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, you better you better have. I mean, Decentraland. I mean, I know the metaverse is hot and stuff, but I honestly think that is a marketing ploy. Y'all better get some real actual utility, for real, for real. So it'll be interesting. It'll definitely be interesting. <laughs> Any other questions out there? I do. So did I hear something or read something about the having happening in about eighty days, or am I making that up? I could have swore I read That's that somewhere. Awfully- that sounds awfully close. I think it's earlier than that. Actually, where did I, where did I put my, hold on. Or, I mean, I think it's later than that. It usually takes, well, actually, you know what? We can just look it, look it up. Um, Bitcoin having dates. There we go. Mm-hmm. So the next one is between, no, 2024. Oh no, no! So wait a minute. So then, why would we be going? Why would we be going to a bear market? No, because it usually happens like two years before the happening. Let me let me bring up that oh. chart again for you. Let me see where to go. Damn! Did I did I click it off? I guess I was clicked off. All right, let me uh, bring the chart up again. The having golden bowl. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, so see, so so this is the halving right here each time, right? Mm-hmm. And so if why is this not centered? Hold on, let me refresh this. this is weird. Okay, so you see how so here's the halving each time right here, right? So have so with the having the have with the having you usually have a it usually occurs in the middle of, of a bull cycle. And, and the funny thing is, usually the first half of the bull cycle, you don't really notice it that much because you're usually recovering from the bear cycle. So it doesn't feel like a bull because you're already staying all these losses, right? So we're actually really kind of on track if a bear cycle usually comes after about 500 or so days. Then, and then after that, you go through a bear cycle and then the bull cycle starts up again and then you have a halving usually comes in about four year increments. So if we had our last halving in May of two years ago, then it does make sense that the next one should be February to May of 2024. This will be my first bear cycle. Band down the hatches, it gets ugly. I mean, last, I mean, last time we, I mean, I think we saw Ethereum drop from fourteen hundred as height down to one hundred and twenty, hundred and fifteen dollars. That was pretty bad. Now, now Ethereum didn't have the ecosystem around it like it does now, and so I don't think it will drop that precipitously. If anything, it might trade sideways for a while. It'll be within a, a, a somewhat confined, you know, range. But I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how things do react in this bear cycle. But I do think you'll see a lot of these shit coins and meme coins die off. I mean, it won't stop people from trying. I mean, it's never been easier in in crypto to, to launch your own token or meme coin or whatever. But I mean, I think you'll see a lot of these, you know, try to launch and flop or or just ha- or have to be more creative with the tokenomics. I will tell you this. The last bear cycle did give us what kicked off this entire um, cycle of of transactional fee tokens, which was P3D. P3D, I mean, bless its heart, is still the granddaddy of it all, if you ask me. The one that then shoots me to to um, to the transactional fee economics and stuff. The whole they were the first ones that I saw that had 10% straight up fee and all of it was distributed to, to token holders. And you'd exchange ETH for for um, for P3D back when ETH was cheap, you know, fees were low and cheap. And as it got more popular, the the price of P3D would go up. So if you got in super early, that sucker, you know, really went up for you. And that was the only thing I made money on back in 2018, summer 2018. So yeah, so P3D, rest this rest little soul. I mean, not much activity these days, but still has like, I think a good, you know, 10 million in its contract, I think. I wonder if it's still on Coin Market Cap. Let's see P3D. Wonder, wonder if Coin Market Trap, Coin Market 
cap tracks that P3D power of weak hands. Nope, it doesn't track it. All right, well, maybe it does. Hold on, power of weak hands, POW. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, so P3D was, was one of its kind. If they'd actually invested in building an ecosystem around it, who knows what it could have been. Um, but they, they, made it like a, a fun, funny game. It's a Ponzi scheme, ha, ha, ha. But it really was a pretty innovative um, economic system that really kicked off all this transactional fee tokenomics. Oh, wow. RIP P3D. But yeah, if you still want to check it out, it's at poh.io. You said so. power of weak hands. That's the name of the coin? That's the name of the coin, yeah. Because basically, we would so so, and their Discord used to be lit. That's, that they're the reason why I even uh, started like a Cinema Draft C three D Discord is because their Discord was lit. Like everything was found in the Discord. They didn't do Telegram. They did Discord. It was lively, memes, a lot of talking, information being shared, and their whole thing was about. What was was about um, getting people to sell because people believed in it. If people got in, especially people got in earlier, people who had a lot of dividends or or because every time there was a transaction, people were getting paid, right? Whether you're entering or leaving, if you held tokens, just like CE3D, you know, you would get paid every time there was a transaction. And so anytime someone's like, "Oh, I'm out, I'm selling, whatever," we're like, "Sell, sell, you weak handed fool! Please sell, <laughs> dump, dump!" Because every time you sold, you get you know ten percent. So. Yeah, so P3D, I mean, as you see, all their iconography was about pyramids. You're like, ha, 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 we're a big pyramid scheme. The show kit, all sorts of stuff about pyramid iconography and everything. It's really, I mean, they really did not care about, like, they, they made it out to be, like, a real big joke. I'm not sure if that was strategic. Like, oh, please don't That's sue us. That's the Santa picture template. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not sure if it was they wanted to avoid being sued or whatever, but they made it up to be, like, a really big joke. They only had, like, one or two games built on top of it, and then when they tried to take their shtick to the Tron protocol and with something called, um, uh, what was it? Uh, was it just FOMO or, or uh, just 3D or something like that? It totally, I mean, it had a big pop initially that totally tanked. It was a big honey pot. No one could really get their money out or they, or they could, but at a huge loss. It was just, I mean, and then it got revealed that they were actually paid by Justin Sun to create it for that, for that platform. And they were paid some like a hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, it was, it was a big mess. They basically lost credibility instantly and people lost faith in, in the Tron version. But P3D still exists. It still has, you know, transactional activity as far as I know. So. I mean, I don't mess with it, but, you know, it's out there. Yeah, look, it's still $11 million of the ETH still stuck in there. That's a lot I mean, of ETH. It's a lot of ETH, yeah. It's, it's amazing, amazing. So, but at its heyday, I mean, I mean, at, and, at, and it's, it's part of the reason why I decided not to build on uh, Ethereum proper, because when they released FOMO 3D, there was such a clamor around uh, FOMO 3D that it, ground the Ethereum network to a halt. Like, it cost them like $60. Back then, this is when our transaction fee was like, I don't know, you know uh, less than a dollar, less than, you know, like maybe you know, 30, 40 cents. It was like $60 at one point to move even the slightest bit of Ethereum because everyone was piling into FOMO 3D. It was nuts. It was nuts. I lost money on everything else in crypto in 2018 except for P3D. P3D, I think I, I, think I 5X or 6X in a weekend. It was great. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not predicting we'll have that same effect as immediate with CD3D, but over the long haul, oh yeah, this, this sucker is going to the moon. All the, all the value got packed into CD3D. I mean, from the decks to the game to, to our uh, celebrity star card NFTs. I mean, you know, we're, and we're, I mean, we're just getting started. Trust me, we're just getting started. And I'm very excited about and like, the plans we've got for, Decentralized exchange will allow you to be able to create your own token on site, just like we do a coin tool, Aisha. Oh, that you, was so much fun. I know, right? I mean, nice, yep. easy, and cheap. And then once you create your token, you can bring it on over to to uh, launch it on our on our launch pad. It's gonna be it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. I'm very excited. And if you don't have any token, come on over and do do a self service automated uh, launch on CD3D Dex. We we got you. Exactly. Oh, so now I have a question that I don't mean to put any other, you know, ideas in your head, but right. what about NFT minting? You know what? 
I, hmm. well, see, I'm of two minds that now I know it's, it's hot. It's easy to do. I mean, everyone, if you can, if you can a token, you probably made an NFT, I'm not against it. Well, I mean, I'll consider it, but it's not anything that, we're, that we have in our roadmap right now. But if it's easy enough to do, if we have the resources and the time, we'll look into it. I mean, I just don't, me personally, I think the whole NFT space is overheated. I, I like NFTs that have a, actual utility or value. Like, so like, let me look at some like Axie Infinity, once again, our North Star, um, just because of the way they've, the, uh, they've handled, you know, their whole operation. I mean, Axie Infinities, Axies have tangible organic use in their game, just like Star Cards will have organic use to our game. So, I mean, just, just making an NFT for NFT's sake, that is not necessarily my bag, but if we have enough demand, we'll look into it. Why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was showing a friend of mine, I was telling him about the Axie Infinity, um, you know, what the, just basically this is what CD3D, you know, we hope CD3D does. Well, yeah, I have at, at least CD3D of- will do. Yeah, at least 10% of it is like 96X. So 96X from 15 cents where we all started is damn near $15, $14.689. So, I mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't, that's what I'm in it for. I don't know what you're in it for. <laughs> that makes my little crypto love and heart smile. You have no idea. You know? And I like your prediction too. I think, what do you say, by the end of March, a dollar? Is that what, that was your prediction? Uh-huh. That'd be 20x from now. Can you imagine? Can we have a, like a little bed and pool or something going on there? Is that legal? <laughs> <laughs> if you make it decentralized, no one can touch you. <laughs> hey, now everybody put a little CD3 in and the winner takes the pot, you know, with your prediction. Oh, and, 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 and Aisha, I believe you have an announcement to the people. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you very much for giving me that space to do that. Lovely Before people, sure. bouncy hunters, airdroppers. If you are wanting to dump, trade, or sell your CD3D, uh, let's consider a peer-to-peer, a peer-to-peer trade. I've got some Bitcoin lying around and some other stuff lying around, and we could have that conversation. Um, I'm at Telegram, Aisha N D A Y E S H A. N as in Nancy, D as in doggy. <laughs> and you know what? I'll help you out. I'll even put you, uh, a link to your profile in the show notes. So if anyone wants to dump their tokens, dump them on Aisha. She buying. <laughs> That's right. I'll buy as many as I can and I'm staking them. There you go. She wants more of that staking pool, y'all. This this staking pool, she wants she wants uh, she wants 100% of this APR. She wants she wants 10,000 a day going to her. I do. I want to splash like a whale. I'm not a big girl, but I I want to splash like one. Can you imagine if I mean if we are actually at a dollar uh, by end of by end of March? That's 20x from where we are right now. 20x times 10,000 a day. I mean, goodness gracious. I know. Burn paper hands. Burn because I am diamond tight over here. Burn them up. Burn them. Up. I know some people in the China group would be happy to dump to you. So get your Google Translate out. You know, post something over there. I'm sure they might. I'm sure you might have some buyers. <laughs> and then Tokpai. I mean, I'm I'm trying to tell you, Tokpai is popping off. They really. I mean, they are really trying to to dump this token over there. So so go ahead and get you some cheap tokens. I, I went up actually right before the show. I bought I think another. I think I bought another twelve thousand for yeah for like seventy bucks. It's super cheap. So knock yourselves out. Yeah, that is. Yeah. It's wholesale. That, that CD 3D at wholesale prices. I'm trying to tell people. Get Pretty some. much. Like, Pretty even much. if you just get like 10 or $20 worth and just hold it, we spend more money on that than like coffee in a week. <laughs> drink coffee. Yeah, you know? So, yeah. So, definitely check out Togpie. Togpie Exchange. See what the order book looks like. The order book. Let's see what the order book looks like. The order book right now. Yeah, so right now looks like so what is so <laughs> zero so four zero eight five one that is like point zero six cents. I mean they're only selling three of them. 
But I mean, that's how cheap it is right there. And then, and then the next big block up is up here at um, 0.0011582, which is like about six cents, at about twelve, just under twelve thousand. So, so all, so all the actually, that's not very much. Now I think about it, it's not very much. It's like only about maybe thirty tokens that are this cheap, and then you run into a block where everything's like more normal. Yeah, point. Zero 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 one one five eight two times five thirty seven is yeah six point two cents. So this is more what we're used to seeing. These are on sale, and actually, you know what? I'm sorry, Aisha. I think I bought up all the cheap tokens. <laughs> I think I did because if this is all that's left, yeah, that's only like what twenty. <laughs> if that's all that's left, then you, then then there's like a jump, and then it jumps to. Okay, okay, I see the jump is, is from here to here. Okay, yeah, so then it jumps to about six cents. So, yeah, so here it looks like they're trying to sell it for 0 0.06 cents. And then up here, then you lose a zero, and then it jumps from here to here, and then there's, like, a huge, all right, yeah, so, yeah. So there are cheap tokens is gone, sorry. Someone better start putting some real bids because <laughs> these are going to probably be on the book for a while. <laughs> Oh, those they yeah, the large amounts. Well, what I will do is again bounty hunters, airdroppers, DM me. Yeah, and also no KYC and Tokpa either. No KYC and Tokpa. And they've got the most liquidity of, of them all. If you check out on Coin Papikra, if you look at and then actually let me refresh this. See what's what. All right, so if you look at liquidity. Then, yeah, they're the ones with the most liquidity. It looks like, how do I read this thing again? Where'd it go? Uh, exchanges, markets, here we go. Oh, okay, so they're actually, so they're only tracking ApeSwap and TokPi. They gave up on, <laughs> or, 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 or uh, looks like ApeSwap stopped reporting, so not enough liquidity. So it looks like they're all only tracking liquidity from TokPi. So let that be your guide right now. Okie dokie. Then if you go to if you go to Poo Coin, which people like to go, I swear I don't make these names, Poo Coin. And then you can see what the other prices are. And it's still like around four cents ish or whatever, you know. People still out there tripping. Four point two cents on uh B and B C three D and then on Pancake Swap, it looks like it's even cheaper. It's like, yeah, three and a half I mean, so cheap, but there's just no liquidity, like a hundred bucks worth. I mean it's just, I mean, it's just so cheap. So, you could, I mean, you could buy like 30 bucks worth and probably have a price impact of like double, you know, so. Oh, as yes, it make people, the coin go up? Yeah, uh, I mean, at least on, on PancakeSwap, yeah. Mm. That, that's, what, that's what I used to do. I used to, to get, a, you know, actually, I might actually do that today. I think I've got 30 bucks. I might actually go to PancakeSwap <laughs> and add a little more to the savings account. Why not? Give it a little, give it a little boost the token price. But yeah, but yeah, de definitely Coke Pie is where it's at for for volume, for liquidity, and for low low bargain prices. I did start. A, I did open a Coke Pie account. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and I know it takes a couple hours for them to recognize your deposit, but once it's up up there, you know, have at it. And, and yeah, the they got some some guides on there. It's not. It's it's pretty. It's fairly intuitive. You know. You buy, you fill it out, you sell, and then they'll show you where your order is in the queue. And then you wait. It, it is not as like active as, say, like Gemini, where you see stuff moving all the time, or even Coinbase Pro or anything. But, you know, it's a little static, but, you know, you refresh the page every now and then, and, you know, show you what you need to know. Oh, here's our chart. I guess this is our real-time chart. I never look at this thing. It's, yeah, it's down here. Um that shows you that somebody really <laughs> just, I mean, some people just really dumped them out. Was it yesterday, it looks like, or earlier today? Yeah, it looks like it was earlier. Well, it's oh, today as in the, the 29th. In-house, our days start and end at 6 a.m. Because I like to be a night owl. So it's still technically um, uh, Tuesday for me, I guess. I know. But um, but it's tech, but uh, so it looks like on Tuesday, you know, someone just dumped a lot and for cheap. Like they're just like, I just get these off my hands. So, all right, we took them off your hands, bro. <laughs> yep, should have DM'd me. Yep. 
Because I know that slippage was high. Mm. Well, actually, well, here's the thing, too, is that I don't think... I, I, I don't think slippage is on in this or hold on actually how does that work i think however you submit it it's already handled in here like it's already automatically taken into account or so if there is slippage it, it's already it's already handled so we don't even see it mm -hmm. so yeah so check out togpi it, it, it might be worth your worth your time any other questions uh, I, I see a couple other people listening any questions comments how at your boy now's your chance Nope. All right. Well, I think that'll do it. Just once again, we've got we've got some more. Um, I, I wouldn't quite call them liquidity events, but more distribution events this week. So be aware that there might be some more dumping. If you are looking to dump, send them to Aisha. She's in Telegram all day, every day. Uh, Here I am. Feel, feel free to get your shit <laughs> that does on. Does not like, sound good. She's in Telegram <laughs> all day, every day. Yeah, no, no, we, we appreciate. It. Oh, and oh, and I almost forgot merch. We have lovely merch. I've been wearing. I got my mom the hoodie dress for uh, for is it spread? I got mom the hoodie dress for Christmas. She's been wearing it around the house while we've all been snowed in. So definitely sure. check out our our gifting suite at cinemadraft dot myspreadshop.com find something that you like find something that that fits you we've got you know a few different styles whether you're cinema draft friendly or cd 3d friendly or both have cd 3d on the front cinema draft on the back or vice versa find a style that you like we got mugs hoodies hats shirts t-shirts show this caps. hoodie dress please yeah, yeah, the hoodie, yeah, hoodie dress is, is is cool. It's a little slim fit, so if you're if you're a, a bigger gal, you might want to get a little oversized. But the hoodie dress was uh, is is been enjoyed around the house by me, Madre. Actually, hold on, let me let me find let me find it real quick. Go see women. You know those are hot right now. Oh, I like that. Yeah, uh, reminds me of the old. Um, yeah, there it goes. Hoodie dress. And so this one is with Cinedraft on the front, CD 3D on the back. This one is CD 3D on the front, Cinedraft on the back. There you go. Yeah. And, and, and a couple different colors. You can try different colors. I think I, I think I got my mom the, yeah, I, I got her the dark gray. Go on ahead, mama. Yeah. So The drip so. on. <laughs> <We'll> crop <laughs> hoodie, you know, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we got we got some for everybody in this in this piece. Mugs, all sort of stuff. So I, I know I know I actually have a I don't have a CD three D mug yet, but I do have my cinema draft mug. I drink from it just about every other day. So a lot of good stuff in here for apparel, for accessories, just anything you want. So check out the merch. Show your pride. Oh, and and shout out to our boy. Was it um, was it Chris T? I think he was the one. He, I think he was the the leader of the merch movement. Shout out yes. to him. Stuff. Oh, and shout out to Kennedy. I really appreciate Kennedy. I appreciate you for letting us um, uh, license your your. Um, I had I thought I had this up. It was really cool. Actually, I, it was uh, the CD three D um, holiday. Uh, I guess it was a meme. He didn't enter, it wasn't in the contest, but this, the little holiday logo, this was dope. I really appreciated that. I That's used it for fantastic. our happy holidays uh, stuff on the medium, so I appreciate you. Thanks for, for showing your support, everyone. Thanks for everyone who participated in, in the CD3 meme holiday yeah. contest. We'll have another contest for you all shortly. Appreciate your creativity and for spreading the word. We always appreciate you, Aisha. Appreciate everyone who listened and who ends up watching. And we will see you, I think we'll see you next Wednesday for AMA Wednesday. I might be traveling. If so, I will let you all know. But thanks, everybody, for participating. Oh, do we have a question? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Uh, speak up a little bit. Can't quite hear you. Speak into your mic. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can turn you up. I can barely hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Sir. In Dodo platform, it is saying yes. CD 3D pool is ended, and I already stake CD 3D there. And okay. Now I want to stake more. So please tell me what should I have to do? 
Okay, so all right, so we actually had a video. Uh, I think it was two two videos ago where I actually did a live staking and unstaking. Here, I'll I'll try to let me. I'll, I'll find it. I'll source it for you in real time. Um, I actually unstaked from the previous pool, and then I took it to the new pool to stake. So since the previous pool is ended, you need to claim your tokens and then take them over to the new pool and stake them there. So watch. So I'll go to let's see. So our Steam. Link of new pool, new, new pool. Well, all right, so so definitely always check out our frequently asked token or frequently asked token. Frequently frequently asked questions first. I'll put this in uh, in the group. There we go. All right, so check the FAQ. On the FAQ, there's a link to mm -hmm. to the, here's the old staking right here, and then here's the new staking right here. And so, and then the video where I did the staking and unstaking, I believe was this one. Was it this one? Uh, staking C3D, maybe, I think maybe it was one before. Is it this one? Nuances in staking, hmm. Because there's one that I did, oh, no, I don't want to hear you. All right. There's, there's one. Um, Aisha, do you remember which one it was where I staked and unstaked? Oh, no. Um, yeah, those... Staked and unstaked. I think that would be the one about two or three weeks ago. I think the eighth. It must be this one, isn't it? Uh, the end of staking and no. Nope, hold on. Okay. Maybe. It was... Nope. That would have been, it would have been two weeks ago. Was that the 14th or the 15th? 15th. Yeah. It's, it's got to be this one. Okay, cool. This is the one. All right, cool. So, all right. So I will get you, I'll share this in the group as well and actually it's at you uh, actually what is your hold on okay but i got all right so let's reply to this with this all right so th that's the video you want to watch right there that one has us um staking uh, unstaking and staking using the links in our, on our faq went to the old site unstaked it and then took them to the new site and staked it. And once you watch it, it's pretty, you know, it's just pretty easy to follow. Yeah, okay, so thanks. All right, excellent, great. Love to see, love to see diamonds hand, diamond hands in here. Love to see diamond hands in here. And also, yeah, like I said, if you want to get cheap tokens, Tope Pie is where it's at. <laughs> oh, bless their hearts. They, they, they're, they're definitely coming with the volume, 16,000 in volume over the last 24 hours. So that's a start. And yeah, so yeah, so I guess we, we will bring this plane in for a landing. Thanks everybody for watching, listening. Thanks everybody for who have, who has attended. And thanks everybody who's staking and supporting and patiently waiting. We're working as hard and as fast as we can. I guess I will see you all in the new year. Thanks, thanks for riding it out with me. Let's have a very safe and happy New Year's Eve into the new year and a very prosperous new year and a fun new year. We're gonna have games, dexes. More sexes, more more centralized exchange, everything, more liquidity, more everything, everything in abundance, price rising, dividends, all that good stuff. All right. So I will see you all in the new year. Thanks for watching and listening and supporting, and I will see you all later.